Hey guys, so today we're going to jump into the 2024 Dragon Ball Heroes showcase video. Uh, I'm just going to show every single new Heroes character in this video. There's five new summonable characters. We have the Tree of Might, not Tree of Might Goku. I'm so used, I'm so used to saying Tree of Might Goku from Legends. It's the Universe Tree Goku. We have Ios. We have the uh, Warrior in Black, the Super Saiyan Bardock, essentially. Uh, we have Demigra, and then we have the like youth version of Fu with the wings. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two separate teams. We have this team, and then we're going to be using this team uh, for the extreme characters. Um, but I'm going to split up the showcase into two separate teams, but it's just going to be the same video. I, just, I figured it's easier just to go through all the different characters in one video. So we'll jump into the Trunks and Goten uh, Supreme Magnificent Battle Stage. I'm not going to go through the details of each character. Um, if you guys want to hear my thoughts, I guess, on what I think about each character, I did a breakdown when they were announced. Obviously, my opinions are going to change when we start to use them, but um, I, I think they're probably, you know, decent is what I'd call them. And now that we know the banner is just five featured characters, I can't really criticize these characters too much for being what they are. I mean, they're soup compared to like Dokkan Fest characters. There's no way they were going to make that banner guaranteed featured with five featured units on it. You are literally, you're guaranteed a new character that when you summon on it for the first time. Like, you're literally guaranteed every single multi, you're guaranteed one of the new units. So, for what it is and how easy it is to get them, I have absolutely no issues at all with how they designed them, to be honest. Um, the, this banner this year format is much better than the pre prior years, where it's usually been seven featured and two slots were like older characters. Um, so yeah, we'll jump in with this. Um, again, not going to go through the entire thing here. We'll just use uh, Universe Tree Goku. We got Ios, and then we also have uh, the Warrior in Black as well. Uh, so let's go ahead, and we should be able to get the intro for Goku here. Actually, pretty good rotations right away. It's nice that we finally have the voice lines for the heroes characters. I'm not exactly sure why they were able to put them in the game now. Maybe because the, the heroes is done, they are somehow able to bypass some of the licensing restrictions. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, well, that's actually very helpful. Goku changed all of the uh, <laughs> he changed all of the bombs on the battlefield to the uh, STR orbs. All right, so we're gonna get the the Beerus and Goku Battle of Gods support memory. Actually, this might be like only my second or third time ever seeing this. I don't really see this that often. It actually looks pretty good. All right, um, right away we have a very good turn for Goku. So Goku needs uh, three orbs for a great chance to guard. He needs five orbs for I think it's what the additional, and then he needs seven orbs for the extra attack boost and guaranteed. No, sorry, five orbs is the guaranteed guard. Let me just let me just double check. There's so many new characters, I want to make sure I'm not messing these up. Uh, seven orbs is just 150% attack for the rest of the battle. So yeah, you only need to get the seven orbs once. Um, and then five orbs is guaranteed guard plus the attack. So once you get seven orbs, you already have the permanent attack buff up for the entire fight, it looks like. So um, the guard is the only thing hinging on the five orbs, which I'm not exactly sure why they even did that. Like, why are they why are they doing that? It's not going to be that often where you're missing the orbs, but I, I don't why even restrict it anyway. Uh, whatever. Uh, let's focus on go ten, just because I'm looking at Ios at the end there being targeted. So 278 defense here. Let's go ahead and just give Goku all these orbs. 11 orbs, very easy to get those. We got uh, Trunks orb changing here. So Trunks just got his EZA as well. We'll do this with Trunks. And then Io. So I guess we'll just keep targeting uh, Goten. But Ios, doesn't she seal? I believe she seals. Yeah, guaranteed seal. Um, I mean, just in case he's still alive, I guess we'll just target him anyway. Ios is providing a lot of support here. All right, so this is before Goku gets to attack. Yeah, not bad at all, obviously. Um, this is not like a super tough stage. 21 million. Okay. Remember, he has built-in crits as well. I don't have any crit on my... I should probably show his build. I'll show the build after this. I gave him mostly additional on dodge because he does not need to get uh, crit at all. There's the crit. Nice. 
Wow, so we just immediately open with a quad super. Okay, this is a pretty good turn one from Goku, considering he's guarding with 40% damage reduction here. Actually, that might have just been a triple, and then we got the additional uh, normal from the hidden touches. This is obviously going to be nothing. Yeah, pretty good turn from Goku right there. Again, this is a character that's really not that tough to pull. And then here's Trunks, 20 million. He's got a really good chance to crit here. It might be, just be guaranteed, actually. No, it's not. Okay, well... <laughs> Thanks for thanks thanks for critting, Trunks. I appreciate. I'm pretty sure he has like a super high chance to crit. Yeah, there's the crit. Another one. Yeah, look at this rotation. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Considering they're not even Dokkan Fests or LRs. Like they're just normal. Okay. I think 18 can still super attack. No. All right. Well, she's gonna get sealed here. Uh, I Ios needs to get hit to get her defense. And then every time she dodges, she's building up dodge for the turn, and she's building up attack for the rest of the battle. I also I gave her thirty. She, she has thirty-three dodge. My, my build. I mean, I should just show the builds real quick. Forgot to do that in the beginning. So Ios, I did give her thirty-three dodge, just the most dodge possible, just because that's literally all she's here to do is dodge and support. Uh, for Universe Tree Goku. I did give him defense because he's a uh, guard plus damage reduction character, so defense is going to synergize well with those uh, stats. Uh, I gave him 15 additional and 19 dodge. I feel like because he already does so many additionals, you don't really need to go like 25 additional on this character. Uh, 15 is going to allow him to proc his additional from the hidden potential system, I think, fairly often, um, just being at 15. And then I just threw the rest into, uh, into dodge. Uh, then we have Warrior in Black. I am probably... This is the character I'm probably feeling the not most excited about, probably the least uh, optimistic about, at least for the new characters. Uh, for him, I did give him mostly dodge and then some additional. He has a lot of built-in crit as well. The thing with these heroes characters, even the extreme characters we'll take a look at later, but every character essentially has built-in crit somewhere, besides Ios, which he's support. Um, so the good thing about that is you can put a lot of these points into uh, either raw stats, attack or defense or, or dodge or, you know, additional, de depending on what character you're looking at. So this guy wants to go in slot one, I believe. So we're actually, I put Robel on the team specifically so we can get the scouter up because this is obviously going to be, you know, effective for the showcase here. Um, okay. So Trunks is super right away. So Warrior in Black, um, he's supposed to be able to be decent here i think um he gets damage reduction and he also uh, the one thing i don't like about him is that he's dependent upon getting the final blow as well which hasn't historically been a great mechanic but we, we can see how this goes um he's not going to get the final blow on any any of these units so we shouldn't even really try for it i guess we'll just attack trunks actually he did he lowers attack doesn't he greatly lowers attack and defense yeah um, maybe we should attack 18 then because we can greatly lower her attack before she gets to super because we know she's supering after. So let's do that. Uh, with Goku, we can get his seven orbs easily. We'll keep this rotation, I guess. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's not horrible. Super Saiyan, perfect battle, first battle, sure. Uh, we'll just keep targeting 18, I guess. Or actually, let's target Trunks. Because 18 is going to be sealed. No, not sealed. Uh, he's, she's going to be attack lowered next turn. Robel wants rainbows. All right, let's see if he gives us the dodges. All right, how does this go here? He does dodge, which is nice. Great. All right, only 7 million, but again, he needs to... Uh, he gets stronger the lower health the enemy he's attacking is. And also, he needs the final blow. Okay, not horrible. I mean, type disadvantage. I guess it's not, not the worst. It could have been way worse than that. 14 million for Goku. I mean, this is no uh, no IO support. Less links active. Let's see. We can get some crits in here. No crits, huh? Uh, the one thing about this Goku, too, is his active skill does give him guaranteed crits for the turn. So there's merit to not needing to give him crit. Okay, he gave us. So he actually didn't get. I think we didn't get the hidden potential system for him. And then Rebel should be okay. I mean, we know she's not getting supered, so nice dodge and nice dodge. Okay, perfect. All right. 
let's just do the same thing. This is going to be a good turn as well. Pan got her Zeng or uh, Zenkai got her ECA. Uh, so Goku's at seven hundred eighteen thousand. Okay. Remember, this is going to be the final turn of his intro. His intro is giving him an extra two hundred percent defense and crit. Oh, no, not crit. Uh, additional two hundred percent defense and then uh, guaranteed additional super support. That's a really strong intro, but. I kind of wish it was six turns instead of four is kind of short. It's only, it's only two appearances. Uh, okay. Uh... Oh, we actually can't lower her attack. I didn't even notice that. Sure, we'll just do this. This is fine. I want to make sure Pan... If we can avoid Pan getting attacked at all, that would be ideal. Which is why I'm going for 18 here. Okay, we should be fine. There's no way these guys are strong enough to damage Goku at this point. This is the friend, too. The friend's build is essentially the same as mine. I think he actually has a more attack than mine. I think he put instead of the defensive skill, I think this friend has an attack skill or it's almost 21 million there right away. Yeah, he looks pretty good. Pretty solid heroes, you know, considering it's a five featured uh, banner with one guaranteed every time you do a multi. All right, damn, we didn't kill. So Trunks is going to have to kill here, and then this will protect Pan at the end. And maybe Trunks can come through and just take out Trunks as well. 21 from him here. The one thing about this Trunks is he doesn't really have any defensive mechanics like guard or damage reduction or dodge. Okay, he gave us a really good turn. Um, so he looks good damage-wise, but the thing defensively is when you go up against these like super bosses, like... You know, the, the Super Gogeta stage of the movie uh, Memorial Fight, or the movie, the Memorable Battles movie edition, or Janemba, it's going to be rough for him in there. And then I imagine as we get into like the 10th anniversary and get new stages, it's probably going to be tougher for him too, but the same thing goes for every character. All right. Uh, territory active. That's a lot of bombs. So... We can't get seven orbs for Goku. Actually, we don't need to, though, because we already got seven, right? Let's put um, Warrior in black in the front. Does he get anything extra with Ios? No. Um, <laughs> uh, that's going to that's gonna do a lot of damage, actually. Those bombs. I mean, I guess we kind of have to... I mean... <laughs> We could do this. Ah, man. I, I'm i going to not... I'm going to just... That's 30% of our health just gone, I think, right? Yeah. We healed a little, bit, a little bit of it back, but not a lot. All right. Uh, Goku... We actually... Yeah. Five orbs is all we need here, just for the guaranteed guard. And then Ios... Let's just do this, or do this. All right, War dodge? He does not dodge. Okay. How much does this do? Okay, not bad. And then, yeah, you can notice he, d he ba basically does no damage unless you, number one, like there's a lot, the thing with this character, and the reason why I'm not super high on this character is because there's just so many hoops you need to jump through. It's like, okay, is he attacking? A uh, character that has under X amount of health, then he's going to get the extra attack and the extra crit. Have you done the finishing blow? Are you attacking first? Like, there's just a million different conditions for that character. So I'm not really, not really that high on him, I would say. Damn, no crit there. You can give us some crits, Goku. Okay, nice. Only two. Ah, he's more than fine here. More than capable tanking this. Oh, thanks very much, Krillin. All right, and then Ios gets, uh, I think it's 30% attack and you wish I actually got hit. I guess we're extra defense though. Ah, uh, hello, Ios. There you go. Getting hit a lot. She kind of reminds me of um, Bunny Bulma, the banner unit for Roshi a little bit. Okay, um, I think we'll go ahead and pop the active here. Uh, we'll just target Trunks and Goten. We know it's going to be a crit anyway, so why not 
toss this out here. Okay. And we'll go ahead and put him in slot one. We know where he's going to get attacked right away because we have the scouter up thanks to Robel. Uh, Krillin is not supering, it looks like. This turn, yeah, he's not supering. Okay. Um, we want to try and get Robel as many rainbows as possible. Do we even. This doesn't. Like, it actually doesn't matter, right? I don't think that we just get these damage orbs. I don't think so. Uh, we don't need them. We could just grab this. That's fine. And then I'm gonna... Oh. If I do this... Yeah, that's still good enough, because it's gonna drop those rainbows on the right side. Perfect. Okay, now we can just do that. Perfect. Four rainbows. That's really good. Yeah, pretty good healing there. Actually, Robel is looking pretty damn good still. Obviously, she's not going to be tanking supers like from any even mid-tier boss, but uh, a scouter plus healing plus rainbow orb changing plus dodge. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty good still. All right. So, oh, we didn't kill. Okay. This is easy double digits. Nothing easy. Even remotely close to damage in Goku here. Yeah. All right. So, Trunks will take out... Trunks and Goten, and then there's no way, I don't think we're going to kill Krillin on this turn, unless Trunks goes, like, absolutely off right now. I think his additionals are only a 50% chance to do a super. Yeah, so we're getting normals here. We know he's not supering, though, so we're fine. Okay. Might as well just pop this one as well, right? I think we'll just keep putting Warrior in Black in slot one. Can we not get all these? Yeah, that's good. Let's give Goku this. And then Pan. I'm gonna have to get these tech orbs to see that. That should be it for this one. Pretty smooth run. Just wanted to show the abilities of all these characters. Um, <laughs> again, I'm not really a huge fan of this guy, but all the other characters I think are probably probably pretty damn good. I mean, this in like specific situations, that guy could be okay, I think. But yeah. No, Krillin has a lot of health. He's gonna live. Krillin has a lot of HP. Watch him super pan at the end and like she doesn't dodge and we die. <laughs> I don't even think he would kill her. Oh, he's not super in. No super, okay. Alright, we're gonna get one more turn with the IOS here. Let's go ahead and do this. Alright, I would be very surprised if Krillin survived this turn. We should be able to easily take him out here, finish off the job. 21 from Goku. Twenty-two. Come on, give us one more. No. Uh, as long as Trunks doesn't uh, fumble really badly, we're gonna kill him here. Twenty million. I forgot how much health this Krillin had. We're pummeling him with like crit 20 million attack stats over and over and over again. He's just living. Uh, come on, super. Okay, thanks, Trunks. Okay, there we go. This should, as long as this is a crit, we should be good. Nice. Okay, pretty painless. I mean, not the toughest stage ever, but, you know, we were able to at least see the mechanics of these characters here. Uh, all right, let's jump over to the extreme team. I'm going to jump into the uh, Broly movie stage, this one, the family combat stage. 
So we'll jump over here. Uh, where's this team at? This one. So unfortunately, I would have liked to have run both Demigrand Fu on the Slug team, but I like to always do the initial showcases on the 200% teams. And they're, for whatever reason, they're not on Terrifying Conquerors. So uh, <laughs> they actually don't fit on the 200% for Slug. So we're going to do this. I'm going to find a friend. Uh, Universe Tree Goku actually is what I want here. Let me just make sure that Link Level 10. No. I have a few friends that are not Link Level 10, so I just want to make sure. I'm not even close. That guy's not even remotely close. No. Okay. Are we just not... We just don't have any Link Level 10 for... There we go. This one. All right. Uh, we're going to jump over with this. So I'm going to run my hearts as the leader. And the reason why is because some of these characters... I think it's... Is it Fu? That needs... Um... No, 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 it's uh, Demigra. Demigra needs to have a full extreme rotation to get, I think it's the extra 20% damage reduction. Yeah, plus an additional damage reduction of 20% before attacking when all allies attacking in the same turn are extreme class. So you really need this guy to be on like a full extreme rotation. Uh, we can definitely afford to have one super class character, which is why I'm bringing the universe tree Goku friend. And uh, good thing Ios is extreme. So we can have her floating around. We can have Fu floating around and... Um, we can have uh, whatever his name is, hearts floating around. Actually, how, how do I want to do that? We'll, we'll figure out rotations when we jump in, but these guys are on Realm of Gods, right? Like Demigra's on Realm of Gods, I, I would imagine. Yeah, Realm of Gods. This guy's got to be on Realm of Gods, right? Yep. Okay, so we'll use a support memory still. And then I believe this guy is also on it. Yep, perfect. All right, let's jump in with this. And let's see how this goes. Um, I actually think I might keep the rotations exactly the way they are. I might have Demigra next to Mechikabra, actually. I think that might be that might, might work better. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so right away, we know that Demigra has 80% damage reduction in slot one before he attacks. We already saw this, we can skip this. Okay, yeah, we can skip, we have to skip on. So what do you share with Fu? Five out of seven. And then with Hearts, three. I uh, remember Hearts is giving, I believe it's what, 50% support or something? It's like actually like a lot of support. Um, yeah, extreme class allies, key plus one attack and defense, 30% plus 20%. Um, for all allies and medium chance of stunning all enemies when all allies attacking is going to turn our extreme class crossover. Uh, oh, wow. Wait, did we get the... Wow, we got the stun. <laughs> did not... I didn't even... I, I, okay, actually, I actually would prefer if we didn't get that. Um, but okay, there we go. Hearts stunned the entire field. Okay. Um, Sure. Well, um, let's go ahead and do this. Fuda, this this Dark King Fu has big bad bosses, which is nice. Uh, I guess we're attacking Trunks here. What do you? What is your attack uh, effect? Seal. These guys can be sealed, I guess, right? If they can be stunned. Uh, next turn we got an STR, an Int, and an AGL character. Uh, let's seal Trunks. Uh. Nah, I'll still, I'll still go to him. So, think about how insane this is. Demigra has slot one 384 defense with 80% damage. That's not bad at all. But this is like a mega juice turn for him. Alright. Unfortunate thing about this, though, is Demigra... He's at 14 million already. Demigra needs to get built up, like, a lot. <laughs> he needs to get hit, like six times or something i don't even i don't remember how many times but i believe he gets a multiplicative like 240 or something to attack so we're missing like his entire passive essentially i can't believe hearts got that stun and then he stunned videl again all right um maybe we just keep this rotation like this Ooh, oh yeah but no big bad bosses 
But we are floating hearts who does have big bad bosses, right? Mm, this is alright. Alright, so we're going to be able to get Goku his orbs. Let's focus on Goten. And we'll just keep attacking Goten. All right, Goku. 15. We know we're doing at least two supers because of the intro. You could give us two more. Let's see. There's the crit. There's the normal. One more. Nice. Okay. Three is good. Uh, let's see what Fu does. Remember, Fu gets damage reduction every time he does supers within the turn. So if we miss a super and we get a normal or something, uh, that's damage reduction we're not getting. 7.5. Okay, not the greatest attack stat ever. We are stunning, though. There's a normal, and then there's a super. Okay, so he's 40% damage reduction. You can do one more from the hidden potential system. We don't get it. Okay. He dodges both, though. All right. Goten is... Essentially, just out of here now because he's stunned. All right, just dodge. Just please dodge. Ios, for the love of God. Oh my God, Ios. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the rotation I wanted. Everything except for fierce battles up. I mean, I could get it up if I do this, but we obviously want this guy in slot one. Uh, that's really... Look how many times Goten is attacking right away. That's really... You're gonna... Okay. Well, we're not gonna get built up with this guy, I guess. Uh... I don't want to grab... Here's the thing. I don't want to grab these, because I want to give these to Mechikabra. And I don't want to grab these, because I want to give these to Fu. <laughs> so there's not much we can do. Alright, I'm gonna do this, actually. Eh. Yeah, we'll just, I guess we'll just grab this. And then we can give you that nine. It's good. Remember, Fu also does build up via rainbow orbs. This also works right here. Uh, okay. Yeah, we should be fine. A lot of support here. All right, we're going to get hit twice, which is good. Just attack build up. This is obviously nothing. It's a 16.9. Remember, this is giving defensive support to the entire rotation, by the way. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show my builds. I'll show that after this. After this turns over. Then we go at 20. Or, Mechi Cabra's at 20. It's the guaranteed additional super. He can give us one more here. I actually... I don't think I changed his build from last year, actually. Or two years ago. I have to, I have to double check. I don't remember what this guy's build was. I don't think I touched it, actually. And then Fu has the dodge, so you should be okay. Okay. Alright, let's check what my build is. So for you, uh, we have mostly dodge, 24, and then 14 additional. For uh, Demigra, 16 dodge, 16 additional, and then defense. Yeah, I wanted to make sure we were maximizing his raw defense just because that's going to synergize the best with his massive damage reduction and then like i mentioned earlier don't forget he has this super deck effect extreme class allies defense plus 30 percent for one turn i really don't like the fact that they excluded him from this i mean that's a blatant attempt to just nerf the character All right they didn't they didn't have to put they didn't have to exclude him from his own buff but they for whatever reason they actually went out of their way to do that which is actually my biggest point of criticism for like almost the entire batch of characters this year is why would they do that? <laughs> why would they intentionally nerf this? You know, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, let's do this. We're gonna have big bad bosses up now. Goku, we can just do that. Yep. And we can do this, and then hearts can super at the end. Perfect. Remember, Fu is greatly stacking attack permanently. So every time he gets a super attack, he is getting the 50% permanent raise. All right, so Trunks is out of here. Trunks is out. 
Uh, please. He used to be dead here, right? No, he lived. Oh, now he's dead. Okay. This is the final turn of this Goku's intro, so that's why they get the, the extra super here. All right, Fu's up to 10.9. If he does another super, you'll notice his attack stat's gonna jump a little bit. There's the stun, the normal. Come on, do a super. And then 11.8. Yeah, I mean it's you know it's jumping almost a million every time. A normal. Okay. All right, so we're actually not gonna kill here. We are just stunning every single turn. <laughs> Stuns galore. Uh, this is a pretty good rotation. Let's do this. Nine orbs for Demigra. Or, I was my Michikabra, I always mix them up. And then I also can just do this. A 22. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's IO support. And then you're at 25. Jeez. Because he gets the additional super guaranteed. Yeah. 27. <laughs> He's stacking attack as well. Okay. Good thing this is like a longer stage. We can get more footage in here. Um, I don't want to use that yet. This is a this is a scenario where we're actually not. This is actually crazy. We have two orb changers. We have two STR orb changers here, and I don't think we're not going to be able to get Goku's guaranteed guard. I mean, it doesn't matter in this situation because he's already got type advantage. But I guess we're going to do this. Four orbs. Uh, obviously, we're going to do that, and then Fu, we can grab seven red orbs or seven STR orbs for you, which is good. Okay, no problem at all with this. This is fine. Because we're guarding innately because of type advantage, we're still getting the damage reduction here. So even if Goku's guard doesn't proc, okay, it did proc, but it, let's just say Goku's guard didn't proc there. Um, we would still get the damage reduction because we're guarding due to having type advantage against this guy. So that's why we were fine anyway here. All right, Fu. Let's see what you got. How many stacks are you going to give us here? How many stacks? 14.8. Yeah, you can notice it's jumping up a little bit. Normal. Okay, come on. Don't, don't do normals. 15.8. Yeah, again, like a million every time. One more. No. Almost 10 million for this guy. Oh, additional. Nice. Okay. This is a really strong turn. Oh, he's not even attacking right away. Mm. This is a good opportunity, I think, to um, put him in the middle. We can get all seven links up. And also, also, don't forget about this. Uh, as the second or third attacker in a turn, he's giving extreme class allies 60% attack and a 24% chance to crit. So we actually get a chance to see this here. This is pretty good. Let's put uh, Mechikabura in slot one. Grab that. Put this guy in slot two. Remember, that attack buff is being applied to him as well. He's, he's getting his own attack support there. I think we should be fine here. Nothing to worry about at all. So uh, Mechikabura is at 27. And now he's up to 29. Okay, yes. Yeah, you know, pretty good non dokkan fest non-LR character. And then Demigra's at 21. Probably gonna crit, I would imagine. Maybe. Got a lot of chance to crit here. Yep, okay, cool. Took him out. Alright, is he fully built up now? Probably. Probably had probably has to be, right? Okay, this is a this is um a, a mechanic that Fu has. Let me just pull this up so we can see. So where does this say this? Uh, blah, 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 blah. High chance of changing all key spheres to AGL and tech key spheres starting from the fifth turn, once only. Um, this is pretty good next to uh, Mechikabra, obviously, because Mechikabra wants the, the orbs. Um, obviously, it could be pretty effective with any character that needs a lot of orbs. So it's an interesting ability. 
it's just pretty unpredictable, I would say, because it's only a 50% chance per turn. So, um, I don't think we need to pop Goku's active. I don't think so. Let's do this. What is Fu's defense? 328. Yeah, I was thinking, like, could this act as, like, a full heal? I don't think it's that good. Like, even if we get 14 orbs with Fu here, I mean, it would be a decent amount of healing, but it wouldn't be, like, a guaranteed full heal. Uh, next turn, we have... Uh, I probably want to save some of these Age I'm going to save the Age Orbs on the, the left side for Mechicabra next turn, so we'll do this. And then I think I'll do... No. Well... This, this, it doesn't really matter if I have supers, honestly, so we'll just do this. Just clear a little of those orbs on the left side. All right, I'd be kind of interested to see if Fu gets his three... We have never, so far, we have not seen a single turn of Fu supering three times <laughs> in one turn before, which is a little bit uh, concerning here. He also does not have big bad bosses up right now. Okay, this is, this is, this is fine. Goku is going to eat this just fine. Yeah, nothing to worry about. And then 12 million from him. So because this is a bit of a longer fight, we are st starting to get pretty high up here. A normal, super. All right, you can do one more. No. Can he tank normals? Yes, okay. So he's only got 40% damage reduction right there. And then Ios is fine here no matter what. Yep, that's fine. All right. Uh, let's just keep things like this, I guess. Um, this is probably better to do. Actually, let me just double check something. Uh, uh, so if you get what, what are the rain, what are the orbs we're getting? The tech orbs I'm looking at here. Tech orbs. Defense is tech. Additional super with two or more rainbows. Hmm. And then he gets damage reduction with rainbows, right? I think it's more important that we give the the uh, S tier orbs to Demigra or uh, Mechicabra just because he has type disadvantage and he's getting attacked way more times than Fu is. Plus, remember, Fu can still build up with rainbow orbs. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, and then Fu, we do this three rainbows. All right, you're at 21. I actually kind of hope this guy gets super just so we can see it. Oh, additional super. That's really big for the rest of the rotation. That's that's 30% defense twice. That is really, really important. Okay, we weren't even fully built up. And you're at 31. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this guy's looking pretty good, man. 33. Please super please super this guy. Please. Oh my god. <laughs> Go ahead. Be my guest. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. <laughs> good luck with that. Yeah, that's pretty good, man. This is super is good. Uh, next turn, we will have big bad bosses for the foo, but we might kill this guy before we even get to see that. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna trigger the Dokkan attack too. That sucks. We can't really avoid this, right? Damn, that sucks. I'm not even gonna click anything. We'll just let this sort of play out by itself. I 
I wish that they gave us an extreme leader this year. Like, I, I would prefer not to have to use hearts as a leader for this team to, like, really work out. Obviously, I think they're intending you to run... Okay, we're going to get at least one super, which is nice. I don't think they're... In, like, they're, they're, they're probably intending you to use both these characters on the slug team, which is why they dropped slug before the banner. But, I mean, they're not on the 200%, right? So... Okay, this is a really good turn for... I mean, everybody, really. Um, let's do this. Six with three rainbows. Okay. Ios should be okay, I would hope. Well, if Ios gets super and she doesn't dodge, she's probably dead, but... At this point, we've seen most of what we came to see, so I'm content with the showcase. Please sweep right away. Oh, this is perfect. 80% damage reduction here, by the way. We can dodge it, too. We don't. Okay. Uh, we should be completely fine here. Big bad bosses. We got the IO support. He's in slot one. He's got defensive skill orbs. He should be fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. 26.9. What is that here? Okay, and then this guy's at 33. Got the additional coming in guaranteed as well. Yeah, this is a nice little, nice little fun team. <laughs> okay. I'm content with this. For how easy they made these characters to get this year from the banner, Five featured, guaranteed, one character per multi. How can you really complain about this? That's my thought process here. If it was, you know, relatively hard to get these characters, if it was like last year, well, it's not like, it's not like it was even tough to get them last year, but you are actually guaranteed <laughs> to get them now, right? Um, all right, let's do this. Unfortunately, we're going to have to get all these. I'd rather give these to Fu at the end, but... Um, I want to make sure Goku gets his guaranteed guard. Because if he's not guarding, he could die. Uh, this, I guess? This? Yeah, three is okay. All right. Even if Goku gets super right away, he should be fine. He's not going to die to this. There's no way. I'm pretty content with the way we showed this here. I think we were able to see pretty much all the abilities for every character. The only one we really didn't get to see in detail is the warrior in black. Because he needs to get the killing blow and certain HP restrictions. This is very tough to get his uh, conditions fulfilled. So I'm not going to go out of my way to show that. But uh, for the other characters, I, I feel like we did show what they're able to do pretty pretty effectively throughout this video. All right, this should be our final turn to see Fu here. He's, he's got big bad bosses. He's got, you know, support from the Fu on the, on the end. 19, okay, now we're talking. 19, you can do four of these. They're basically guaranteed crits. No, don't, it's, I mean, even the normal's 12 million. He killed them with that normal, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the great attack stacking coming in. I mean, it's turn 12. He's had a lot of turns to stack. Uh, I guess what we can say for this this uh, AGL Foo here is we didn't even see a single turn of him getting three supers, so that's a little concerning when we get into tougher content, but um, he's able to be, I think, pretty effective considering, again, how easy it is to get him. So Overall, I think a pretty successful showcase for the Heroes team. The final Heroes collaboration celebration in Dokkan. I'm going to be pretty interested to see how they follow this up with, like, easy A's, because, like, they could, they could easy A, like the characters we got last year. Like, imagine Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito gets easy aid, but if they're not going to continue to give us crossover units, it's not going to matter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, they can give us the craziest easy aids ever, but uh, we're going to have to see how they handle this moving forward because we know there's not going to be more Heroes collabs. Maybe they're going to do Divers collabs. Maybe they're going to do more collabs with, like, I don't know, Sparking Zero, whatever. So, 
Let me know what you guys think of the 2024 Heroes characters. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.